So Percy Miller Sr. and Percy Miller Jr., Master P and Romeo are at odds. Father and son, let me ask you a question before I dig any deeper. How many parents are at odds with their children, especially their young adult children? This young man, Romeo, is 33, I believe, early 30s, and none of us have ever heard this young man speak negatively about his father. In fact, I believe that that's what most people are upset about, is the fact that he never has, and they look like the perfect image. They look like the perfect family. When the cracks have been there all along, there is no perfect family. There are no perfect people. So we need to stop looking at anybody as the cleavers or the perfect anything. How many parents do you know who are at odds with their young adult children? Let me give two sides of this. This young man is 33 years old and he's never said anything negative publicly about his father. Nobody seems to be looking at that. It doesn't mean that he could not have. He didn't. So while many of you are calling him spoiled, unappreciative, uh, and a whole bunch of other things, I do not agree with those labels at all. And there are several reasons if you'll stick around, if you're willing to have an open heart and have ears to hear something different than what you've been acculturated to, because that's what this boils down to for the most part. Y'all, much of this is culture. If you have young adults as children and they're in that early 30 to younger adults, you're struggling because they came here with purpose. The world that we see right now is not the world that's going to be in the next five to 10 years. Guess who's going to usher in that change? They came here with purpose. In our age group and older, we've been accustomed to the generations just passing along the trauma and us just accepting it. But here's what happens, and this is why it can't continue. And this is why these young people are ready to surrender it all. They will throw it all away. They are risking it all because they came with a path of purpose. We were willing to take on our parents' traumas because our parents commanded us and told us it was disrespectful in order to stand up for, to have an opinion. There are so many things that we as Black people, particularly from the South, and y'all, you see my New Orleans shirt? It's because I grew up in the same place. I understand that level of culture. I don't know Master P, but I went to high school with Percy, in fact, in the same graduating class. So you won't hear me call him Master P. We are the same age. I know what he grew up with. Cultural differences make all the difference. So hearing you all referring to this young, young man who stands in his truth and who's clearly saying that there was no other way that he could get through to his father and that he reached a breaking point and for y'all to be attacking him like that, what it's saying to me is that your children are suffering too because they came here to contribute to the same changes, to ushering in the same changes. Now, here's what's happened, unfortunately. There are so many parents today who have kids in these age groups that I just talked about, who are not just in conflict with their children, but they are in combat. And that combat completely turns to a competition. See, in our age group, when our parents turned it into a competition of win or lose, then we were so conditioned to surrender that our parents won and so many people in our age group have never lived out their own lives because they took on their parents' trauma. Let me tell you what happens when you accept your parents' trauma and surrender your peace at that point. You also give up your power. So your parents, in passing on their trauma and commanding you, steal your power and many of you never get it back until you pass that same trauma down to your children and steal their power. That's not okay in my book. Hi, my name is Zara Green. I'm glad you're here. I tend to do little of this celebrity stuff. I only touch it when I can give a different spin. And that spin for me is always about personal growth and personal development. Family is important to everybody, and nobody wants to lose family. But few people are equipped to keep family. And that's why I'm touching this right now. And I am hoping to really wake up the people in our age group, 50 and above, uh, and younger, to understand that your children are not your possessions. They didn't come here to fulfill your satisfaction or to keep you happy. They came for their own path and purpose. 
Listen, I'm not going to go through all of the dialogue that's happened over the past few days with them, but I will tag a young woman who is on YouTube, who I think did a balanced job in talking about Percy's part and Romeo's part. Listen, he's person to me, all right? I never knew him as Master P. I will not be calling him Master P. He's person to me. This will also not be me bashing Percy or anybody in our age group. This is hopefully just to come to kind of shake you a little bit, just to understand that this thing is bigger than you. This thing is bigger than Percy. This thing is bigger than the, the empire that Percy's built. It's bigger than any of that. Parents, hear me out. Governing with an iron fist is no longer going to work for you. You may win the battle, but you're going to lose the war. If you want a relationship with your children, I'm telling you, being in competition with your kids, especially today, they are ready to risk it all. They will walk away from you. They are willing to be without you. See, here's what parents don't understand. See, there are up-down relationships and down-up relationships. Parents, you are always up-down. The children are down-up. You have exerted and put into your children uh, energy and money and sacrifice and all that stuff. And you want that to you want that to translate to your children. You want them to interpret it the same way that you gave it. It's not the same energy and it's not supposed to be. Your children are not supposed to feel all that stuff. Unfortunately, a lot of them, you 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 talk about it so much and you try and tell them so much about what you've done that they have tried to absorb some of that when that's not their responsibility to carry. That is your responsibility to carry as a parent. Your child's responsibility is to come here and do what they came to do. And just like it's not your child's responsibility to carry yours, it wasn't your responsibility to carry your parents. But because you didn't know that, then you taking this stuff and trying to give it to your kids. It's not right. You need to work that out. Now I don't mean going to church every Sunday because we've been doing that. That ain't, that ain't enough. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the dialogues, which are so enlightening. They really are. If, if you have ears to be able to read between the lines and really connect the dots, then you see that this is not something that just started. This is something that's been going on. And like most Black parents, they don't hear their children. They don't hear their children. And let me tell you something. That Romeo has had an awakening. A line has been drawn in the sand. He's had enough. That Romeo is a Leo. Percy, you in trouble. <laughs> he is not about to yield. <laughs> that line has been drawn. He understands things that he's been trying not to see. He's been tap dancing around that thing. Look, y'all, I'm going to tag Lovely TITV in this post because I think she did a really balanced job of, uh, of talking about this. And she's included all of their dialogue. So it's all in one place. So I'm not going to go through all of the dialogue. I will just point out a couple different things. She's got almost a million subscribers, and I think she did a really good balanced job. There are, you know, these old school folk, old heads who are really siding with P and talking about Romeo in ways that I do not agree with. And some who are just straight saying that Romeo is totally right and not understanding that there, that there needs not be a right and a wrong. See, some of the things that P said, you know, how he's being disrespectful and I keep calling my son and he needs to just pick up the phone. I thought he was just having mental health issues or mental health is mental illness is real. Yeah. Because he don't agree with you, he's mentally ill now. No, we got to stop. We got to give people the room to be able to develop as people, to grow and expand. The tree of trauma. Listen. That young man wrote that. Oh, yes, he did. And anybody who knows what it's like to have a family of trauma can identify with what this young man is talking about. Who's passing that down? Now, he said some very specific things. Listen, when P went against his mother the way he did in public, I was thinking, dude, that's going to come back to bite you because I'm looking at the young man like, that's your mama, boy. That man talking about your mama like that. If mama was just all wrong, that's one thing. 
but that's never the case. It's never the case that one is just all wrong. She had seven children by this man. We're not talking about all the stuff that went on in between. She had seven of your children. The way you drug that woman, be, <clears throat> man, no. You said it, P. Death either bring you together, closer, more unity, or it tears you apart. It happens every day. And I have no doubt that that just exacerbated whatever he was feeling, whatever was under the surface, and then he became a father himself. His relationship with your daughter is not the same as your relationship with your daughter. Every family dynamic is different. So Romeo's experience with your daughter is different than your experience with your daughter. This is a young man who is the oldest. So he has been around all of your children the same way you've been around all of your children. The way you see him, he sees his siblings. He's not in a space where he could have done anything other than what he did. He indicated that he put this all on social media because he could, didn't feel like he could get through to you. That's what he said. Now, just because you have an open door policy, son, you can just come and talk to me. If he's been trying to talk to you and you are not hearing him, then saying you can come and talk to me and having an ear to hear what he says are two entirely different things. These children today will walk away from you if you don't find some flexibility. If you don't yourself, go and get some help. To me, this whole money thing is crumbling anyway. This whole celebrity thing, putting people on pedestals, looking up to people who it looks like just has more than you, all of that stuff, that American dream crap, all of that is, it's, it's a pipe dream. They sold everybody that only a few got through too. So understanding that all of that stuff is crumbling and our young people are the ones who are going to usher in the real changes. Your son and so many other young people are ready to risk it all. They're throwing it all away. They're like, it doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters anymore. What matters to me is X, Y, Z, which is polar opposite of what mattered to their parents. They now care about their mental health. They care about peace. They care about love. Those things are important. They're no longer putting the stuff that governments and corporations and the matrix has built as priority. Those are the things that have made it impossible to have honest, pure, genuine relationships now. Listen, I'm here for it. So if you have some young adults in your life and you have projected your feelings into this situation based on your, the way you have been acculturated, do yourself a favor and get yourself some help first. Look at your own biases. Look at how you are projecting. Look at... Some of the people are saying, if I had a daddy who could have done all that for me, you're projecting. You're projecting. You're, you're projecting from your lack. You're not able to see who he is and his conditions and his, his concerns because you only see what the matrix has said is important. It is not. Each individual is important. Each individual has a right to their truth, including Romeo. Now, I am not saying that Percy doesn't have a right to his truth. He does indeed. You have a right to your truth. But the question every parent has to ask is if they want to have a relationship with their children. If you want to have a relationship with your children, you need to understand that they are willing to risk it all. If they're willing to risk it all because they came here with path and purpose and they are the ones who are going to usher in this next change, then as a parent, if you are interested in having a relationship with your child, I'm telling you, you got to put on some flexibility. You've got to get malleable. You cannot continue to carry the crap you've been carrying all these years and expecting that your child is just going to come to where you are without you having to meet them, without you having to surrender all of this callousness that has grown as your truth. You have the right to live in it, but I'm telling you, you are doing it at the expense of possibly losing your child or children. Percy? is a self-made man. Oh, who is not gonna celebrate that? I have been celebrating him since, and I will continue to celebrate him. There is no question that Percy loves his child. No question. We can see that. We know that he loves his child. Yes, he's done amazing things for his child, but what parent does not bring their children into their family business if they have the opportunity to do that? I'm not putting you on a pedestal for bringing your child in the family business. It's what most parents do. It's what most parents want to do, even when it's not what their children want. 
the fact that you brought him in the business and gave him a platform and made him a celebrity does not mean that he does not have the right to his autonomy, to his truth, and to be able to live out his life as he chooses to. He's made some decisions because he y'all y'all reached a point to where you could no longer walk together. And it sounds like he's been walking to the beat of your drummer his whole life. He's tired, daddy. He's not going to keep doing that. You're going to have to be flexible, not just saying, son, come and talk to me. You know you can come and talk to me. You have to have a different ear listening because you've clearly been hearing him but not listening to what he's saying. He shut it down. You said you've been trying for months. People stop trying when they don't get anywhere. I don't believe that the flexibility in this stage needs to come from Romeo. I believe it needs to come from Percy. And whether you are a celebrity or not, if you are a parent of a young adult who is taking their power back, who will not allow you to control them, who will not allow you to just continue to say that they are being disrespectful. Because when you grow up in the South and under black folk and all of that, the black people tell you what you, how you gonna do it. You ain't gonna do this in my house and you gonna listen to me and I will not tolerate the disrespect. That young man is 33 years old. He ain't gonna tolerate your stuff no more. It's time to change your parents. Now, I'm using Percy and Romeo as examples here to talk about what needs to happen in families right now. Stop passing on the trauma and robbing your children of their power. There are parents in the South still telling their 40, 50, 60 year old children to shut up. That's ridiculous. It's time out for that. Respect is a two way street with your adult children. Okay? I said adult children. Those of you who are 12, 13, 14, I ain't talking to you. I am talking about adult children. You've got to get flexible. You can't just continue to just, this how I'm going to do this, and this, and this how we're going to do, and this what we're going to do. They have their own lives. So Romeo don't have the right to his own life. He said he'd been backing him his whole life. Backing him to the point that he turned his back on his mother. What? Turned his back on his mother listening to his father. You know, shit comes back to bite. Every parent needs to understand that those little people grow up. I don't know what's going on in their house. I'm not making any judgments about what's going on in their house. I am looking at an example of what is happening all around the U.S. in families. Using their situation right now as the example of what these 50 plus year old parents and their adult children uh, can possibly start to do to make amends. If you want your children in your life, it is you who needs to create some flexibility. I is your life. Choose it just as it is. Own it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Change it. As long as you can breathe and learn, it can get better.